In Creole Parametric, you can create notes as part of model-based definition in order to document your part or assembly. In this video, we are going to cover flat to screen notes and entering in the content of your notes. If you take a look at the bottom of my graphics area, I have a couple of tabs for my combined views. That's because I have a config.pro option turned on, display combined views. Also, if you go to the view manager, which I will access from the in graphics toolbar. If you go to the all tab at the bottom, there is an option to display your combined views to create a new combined view or combination state as they are also called. You can click on the new button from the all tab, or if you go to the annotate tab, the leftmost icon allows you to create a new combination state or combined view. I will hit the new button and I've got my new combination state. I am going to right click on it and rename it. I'm going to call this four underscore notes because that's where I'm going to put my notes. And now in order to create a new flat to screen note, I'm going to change my annotation plane from front to flat to screen. Actually, before I do that, let's take a look at the drop down for the note command. Here you'll notice that I've got three different options. I can create an unattached note, an on item note, and a leader note. We will cover the other two in another video, but I want to show you that when I change to flat to screen, the only option available from the drop down list is the unattached notes. You can only create unattached notes that are flat to the screen. So I will choose unattached note. And here we have a little box that shows us where the note will appear. All you have to do is left click where you want it to be. And the location of the note is defined as some offset from one of the four corners of the computer screen. So the position of the note will just, if you have the model tree visible or if you change the size of your Creo parametric window. So now let's talk about the different ways in which you can enter in the content of your notes. First, you can enter in the text manually. So I'm going to type in here the word notes for what I want to appear in here. And then when you're done typing, you can left click and your note will still be selected. You have all the different formatting options. We'll cover those formatting options in another video. And then if I left click on the screen background, the format tab is going to close. The second method for entering the content of a note is to reuse information from a file. So let me click on the note command once more and I'll locate where I want my notes to be. And then if I take a look at the format tab, here we have the option to enter in a note from a file. And when I click on that, it goes to a folder on my computer and that's indicated by the config.pro option pro underscore note underscore dir dir is for directory and so i will grab one of my text files and then click on the open button and now that text appears in the note let me left click once and then left click again so there you can see the contents of the note let me move my model over to the side now let's take a look at the third method of entering the content for a note and that's with copy and paste. So I'm going to select my note that brings open the format tab. Then I can go to the text editor and it shows the contents here. Let me grab the corner and make this a lot wider. And then I can go grab the text that I want to use and then I can right click on it. And here we have the pop up menu. One of the options here is to copy that information. Now I will cancel out of here. Yes, I'm sure I want to cancel and then deselect. And now I will create a brand new note and locate it here. And then I can use control V, the shortcut for paste. And there you can see the contents of the note have been copied into my new note. Now let's take a look at another method of getting information in your note. And for this one, I'm going to edit the existing note. And let me choose the text editor. And then I can go in here and create a brand new line and type in 09. And then I can type in the information, do not use above 300. 
And if I go to this drop down list, here we have a bunch of different symbols that we can use. So, for example, here is the degree symbol. You can see that there's roughly about 30 different kinds of symbols, or maybe more, a uh, whole bunch of different symbols that you can insert into the note. So, I'm going to grab this from the library symbols and then close out of there. And so you can enter in the text. Similarly, let me click the OK button and deselect. When you are creating a brand new note, let me locate right over here, you have the library symbols available right from the format tab. Okay, for the fifth and final method that we're going to take a look at for creating notes in this video, you can insert existing information into a note that you create. And the first one that we'll take a look at is a symbol. And so let me rotate the model over here. I'm going to throw in a symbol. Let me change to my front annotation plane and then I can go to the symbol command. Here is the updated interface in Creo Parametric 9.0. I will go to the gallery and here are the different symbols that I have available to me. Here is the one that I created for a first article inspection. Let me click on that. And then for the location, I'm just going to grab an edge on here and then move my note and then middle mouse click. So there I've inserted an FAI symbol into my model. If you take a look in the tree here, you can see that it is symbol zero over there. If I want to use this in a note, well, you can use the ampersand and SYM in order to call out that symbol. So for example, again, I'll just go and edit my existing note here. Let's go to the text editor and then go to a new line. I'll type in 10 and then I can type in four and then I'm going to use ampersand SYM and the name of the symbol. In this case, it is FAI and then I can type in the rest of the text that I want. I can say inspect three articles per lot. And when I hit the OK button, here it opens a little window where I can enter in the text that should be the variable text for my note. In this case, I'll use the value of one and then hit the check mark. And let's click OK and deselect everything. So in that way, we are using our symbol inside of the note. We can also insert dimensions into a note. And to figure out what dimension that I want to use, let me scroll down to a feature. I know that this cut has all the different mounting holes in it. I can right mouse click and hold and choose show annotations and it shows the various different annotations on here. And I can see that here we have a dimension. If I hover my mouse over it, it tells me that this is dimension D1235. And so now that I know the name of the dimension, let's cancel out of here. I can create a brand new note and let's locate it here on the screen. And I'm going to write in my mount, oops, let me use all caps, mounting hole diameter. And I can use the phi symbol from here. And then to enter in the dimension, I'm going to use the ampersand and then that name of the dimension, which was one, two, three, five. And this will be parametric. So if I ever change that hole diameter, then the note will automatically update. Let me left click in order to deselect. And there you can see that the diameter now appears in the note. Just like you can use dimensions in a note, you can also use your parameters. And to access your parameters, well, I have the icon in my quick access toolbar. You can also get to your parameters from the tools tab or in the model tab. In part mode, it is available from the model intent overflow. And I'll go to parameters. And let me make the column a bit wider and find my different parameters in here. Starting in Creole Parametric 7.0 with the introduction of multi-body modeling, you have these different parameters for PTC master material and PTC reported material. So now that I know the name of the parameter that I want to use, let's use that in a note. Let me go back to my first note. This is extraneous in here. Let me just delete that text that I have in here and then use the text that I want. Material, colon, 
and now I'll use ampersand and then PTC master material and then left click on the background of the screen so it takes the value of that parameter for the material and now reports it in the note just like with the dimension if I ever change the material then the note will automatically update all right for the last method of using information in a note let's show how to use a geometric tolerance in a note I'm going to go to one of my other combined views here I have my set datums combined view and here I have a geometric tolerance for a surface profile showing up in here if I click on it you can see that this is GP3 in order to use this in a note you are going to have to use a little bit of a trick let me go back to my for notes tab again it's GP3 let me grab this note and then go to my text editor and I'm gonna put in I want to make sure that I don't get any interference with the symbol on here let me just change this to number 11 and so I'll put in unless otherwise specified I cannot spell and then I'll put in ampersand and then you're going to use the letter G and it's got to be a capital G amp ampersand G and then the number of the geometric tolerance in this case three and now I will click the OK button and so our note now contains the geometric tolerance that I used on that other tab and so that's how you can enter in all sorts of other existing information from your model like other symbols dimensions parameters and geometric tolerances so there you have it that is the end of part one for how to create notes as part of model-based definition.